Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Nextcloud using Portainer and Docker. Now this is going to require two things to be already set up. First off, Portainer, and second off, Nginx Proxy Manager. Um, I have covered both of these in two videos, which will be linked in the description below as well as up here. Okay, so first off, we are going to need to install Nextcloud. So let's go ahead and head over to the Linux server slash nextcloud image on Docker Hub. So we're just going to copy the tag for Linux server slash latest. So copy that. Go to our local containers and add container. Okay, we're going to call this one nextcloud. And paste that in here. Just make sure you delete the Docker pull part. So Linux server slash nextcloud colon latest. Perfect. Okay, now let's head back to the overview tab and we will scroll on down till we find the usage. Perfect. So we're going to first off start by setting our PUID and PGID. So we can do that by SSHing into our server. Okay, so then once we are SSHed into our machine, we're just going to type ID and then our username. So now we can see that I am UID 1000 and GID 1000. So that is the same thing as PUID and PGID. So that is what we want to fill out for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start that. So we're first going to go to the env tab, add two of those. Actually, I think we'll need three. So PUID is 1000 and then PGID, whoops is also 1000. Okay, and next we're going to need to add our time zone. Um, if you don't know what yours is, you can search through this list on Wikipedia. I'll also have that link in the description below, and that'll tell you what to enter there. We are looking in this tab, I am America slash Chicago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. We'll do TZ and America slash Chicago. Perfect. Okay, now let's head back here. That looks like everything that we needed. Awesome. And since we're SSH'd into our machine already, that makes this nice and easy. Let's just go sudo su, head into our root user. Okay. Now let's do cd slash srv slash docker data. Okay, so now we have our folder from last time. Let's go ahead and create a new one for next cloud. We'll call this next cloud data. And then we are also going to have mkdir nextcloud database. Now these will be two separate containers. So that's why we have two separate folders. So let's go ahead and pop into nextcloud data first. Okay. So then we are going to need one folder called config. Um, we can do mkdir config. And we're going to need another one called data. It doesn't necessarily have to be data. This is just to keep consistent with what we are naming it on or what its name does in the container. Now, if we do LS again, we can see that we have both of those here. Perfect. Okay. So then the next thing we're going to need to do is go over to our portainer and add this into here as a volume. So we're going to add two volumes. We're going to do these as bind. We're going to do path in container slash data, I believe was the first one. And the second one was slash config. Perfect. So now we're going to paste in that path to it on our machine. Um, this doesn't have to be the exact path I used. You can put it wherever you want on your machine. I just like to put it in SRV. So like if you had a separate hard drive and you wanted to mount that, that like slash MNT or mount um, that would be fine uh, for your data. I always like to put config on an SSD just so it's nice and fast, um, but you can really put it anywhere you want. Um, so keep that in mind when you're setting this up. Okay, so we've got that set up. Let's head back over and see what else we need to do. And then we will do port 443. So we will do that. So on the container, we're going to need to do 443. But 
since nginx proxy manager already has 443 reserved we're gonna have to do something else i'm just gonna do 444 oops perfect and let's make sure we didn't miss anything else oh yep yeah. let's set the restart policy to unless stopped perfect okay so now let's go ahead and hit deploy container Perfect, so now that is set up and it says it's running. If all you're wanting to do is have it hosted so you can access Nextcloud locally, you can stop here. If you want to make it accessible from anywhere on the planet, you have internet access, of course, um, keep watching. So let's first head over to the address of our Nextcloud instance. So we'll do 211 or our IP address and then the port we entered. I did 444. Um, we are also going to need to specify that as HTTPS because it won't know that. 443 is HTTPS. Your browser will usually pick up on that. But we're not using 443 so we will have to specify. Perfect. So now it's going to want to use SQLite as the database by default. That's going to be relatively slow as it's warning here. So let's go ahead and set that up now. So we're going to be using MariaDB. That's just the one that I like to use. Okay, so let's do nextcloud underscore database for the name. Whoops, did it again. Okay, and then we are going to just copy the command there. And we'll just get rid of that Docker pull. So we have Linux server slash MariaDB, and we'll add the tag latest. Perfect. Now we're going to leave all these pull image ticked. And now let's scroll down and see how they want to use this. Okay. So we are going to add our environment variables first. Let's go ahead and do that. Add two of them, I believe. Uh, never mind. We will need three of them. Actually, we'll need more than that. Let's start with three, just so we're doing the same as last time. So our PUID is 1000. Our PGID is also 1000. And then our time zone is whatever you determine from this list. Okay. So next we are going to need to whoops, add a MySQL root password. I'm just going to copy that. So this is going to be an environment variable. Copy the key, and then the value is going to be our root password. Um, obviously set this to something secure. Enjoy blurring this future me. <laughs> Eat shit. Um, okay. And then next, we are going to need to set up a MySQL database. So this will be the database name. Okay, so let's go ahead, MySQL database. And we're just going to call this Nextcloud. I'm sorry, future me, I'm going to have to scroll down. Oh, no. That's going to suck. Okay. And then we're going to need a MySQL user. Uh, this is also just going to be Nextcloud. As well as a MySQL database password. Um, again, set this to something secure. Perfect. And then that should be all we need for environment variables. Awesome. So let's head to our volumes tab now. You're welcome, future me. And we will need to go over to our previous folder. So CD space dot dot. That'll move you back a directory, as you can see. And we'll move into our next cloud database. So we got nothing in there. So let's go ahead, mkdir config. Awesome. As we can see, we now have that folder. OK. So now we are going to copy this once again. Control shift C, head over here, add a volume, set it as bind, and do slash config. And then the path in the container was slash config. Uh, let's just double check that to make sure I'm not a moron. Awesome. Okay. 
So that should be that volume. And then we need to open up port 3306. Let's go ahead, publish a new network port 3306 and 3306. Um, this might not work. I think Ubuntu server actually has a Maria Deep or a database that uses that port by default. We'll find out though. Um, and then our restart policy is going to be unless stopped. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit deploy container. Well, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. We are looking good. Okay. Deploy the container. It looks like it created that successfully. Okay. So now let's head back to our next cloud. We're going to choose Maria database. Uh, we're actually going to create our admin account. I'm just going to name it admin and do a relatively insecure password. Awesome. Okay, so now our database user, we called it Nextcloud. Our database password is whatever you set your password to. Again, you're going to want it to be secure. And then our database name is also Nextcloud. And then our database address is going to be localhost 3306, right? Yes. And then we're going to hit install. Error. Hmm. It didn't like that. Let's try that again. Database user, database password. And that might be because we are using Docker. So let's try this. 211 port 3306. So we're going to do our machine's IP and then the port colon 3306. Let's try that again. And this one may take a moment. It is a fairly big program. Okay. Never gotten that before. Let's just try and refresh it. Um, I guess it's given up. We're going to say install recommended apps. Maybe that'll work different for you. Um, I'm guessing their servers are down or something. Okay. So that's going to give us a little introduction. Um, and there you go. Now we're just going to start using Nextcloud and boom. That is Nextcloud. There you go. It's working. Uh, as we can see, they've really changed this a lot since I've used it regularly. Uh, we can edit our files, we can upload files, download them all we want. And that is awesome. Okay, so now we have one last thing to do, and that is create a proxy host. So let's head over to Nginx Proxy Manager and select proxy hosts, add proxy host, and then we are going to determine our domain name. Um, let's just do nextcloud.archi.vet. And then we will also have to head over to our DNS provider and add that as a um, oops, record. So let's go nextcloud.archive.vet. And then we're going to enter my IP address. Perfect. And then I'm just going to do this Docker tutorial series. Amazing. And we're just going to hit save. So we can just have basically the same settings as for a portainer, which is awesome. Okay, and we're gonna to need to do HTTPS since that is what we are accessing Nextcloud through. That is the only option we have. Okay, so we're gonna enter the IP we're hosting it on, 211, and then the port, 444 in my case. Okay, and then we're gonna head over to the SSL tab and request a new SSL certificate uh, we are going to force SSL and we are going to agree to the Let's Encrypt Terms of Service. Make sure you are entering your email. Hit save and hopefully that will work. Awesome. Okay, so now we have our domain here um, and that is encrypted through Let's Encrypt. Awesome. Okay, so now let's try to navigate to that. So let's do nextcloud.archi.vet. And see if it works. And it is 
complaining that we are accessing it through an untrusted domain. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do docker exec-it nextcloud bash. Okay, so that has basically opened up a bash shell within the Docker container. So now we're inside that container. So if we do LS, we will see we are, we've got this data directory that is not normally in Linux. Okay, so now that we are bashed into our Nextcloud container, let's go ahead and CD to slash config. Um, and then I think it's www nextcloud. Okay, so now we've got this here and we will cd to config once again. Oops. Okay, and now it's clear, just ls again. Okay, so now we've got config.php and config.sample.php. We are just going to edit config.php and head down to this array with the trusted domains, hit enter, and add another one. We'll just call this, um, nextcloud.archive.vet that and then there we go we're just going to control x yes and enter perfect now we're going to head over here and restart our container give it a moment here container successfully restarted so now let's head back hit f5 and see if it's come back up awesome so now we've got that Pretty simple from here. We just need to log in. Let's log in with our admin user. Don't save and get that out of here. And there you go. It is simple as that. Uh, we have successfully installed Nextcloud, set up a database, and made it accessible to the internet. So there you have it. I hope this helped, and if you learned something, consider liking and subscribing. As always, I hope you had a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.